What a difference a little sunshine makes. Thanks for stopping by NewsChannel5.com. Finally, we got a really pretty day out there, and that sun kind of helps take a little bit of the sting off the cold air. Here's the deal. We have one cold front that's headed towards us, but it's pretty wimpy as far as cold fronts are concerned, and we're not expecting a big tank in temperatures. Taking a look at exact track, this little line of cloud cover that you see coming through Thursday, that's it. I told you, this one doesn't have much bite to it. It will increase cloud cover just a little bit, especially for areas north Thursday into Friday, and it will nudge temperatures down just the tiniest bit into Friday, but it's still going to be warmer than we've seen pretty much for the last week and a half. So I don't think you have a whole lot to worry about as far as that front is concerned. I actually think you're going to love the weekend. Lots of warming coming into the weekend as we've got southerly flow. This is ahead of a storm system that may impact us next week, though. For now, we get to enjoy the weekend first. Tonight will be the coldest of the next seven, so it will be another cold one, 26, since we're below freezing. Any sort of residual damp spots near you, of course, could uh, refreeze into some briefly slippery spots. I'm not overly concerned about it, but it's possible, so I want you to be aware. And then tomorrow, even with that little wimpy front and a little bit of cloud cover, it's going to kick up. I think we're still going to hit 50 by the afternoon. How nice does that sound? Now, I mentioned that cold front. It does have some cooler air with it, so it'll nudge temperatures down just a couple degrees for your Friday. But just as soon as that front comes through, our winds are going to switch back out of the south again, and a southerly wind is a warm wind. This is the nicest weekend I think we've had in quite some time. Upper 50s for Saturday, low 60s for Sunday. That's when we're going to have to start to reintroduce those rain chances, in particular Sunday evening late. I think most of your day on Sunday Sunday is dry, and then the better chance to see showers and storms will be Tuesday. We'll keep a close eye on that particular storm system, and behind it, we are expecting cooler temperatures to filter back in.